Hello again, everybody. It's Friday, and uh, welcome to another Iron Sandwich. Uh, this is Dom Lawson here. Hello, um, from Metal Hammer Magazine, reviewing popular records for the cool kids on the street, or whatever. Um, yeah, so today, uh, yesterday was all about the Degenti. For some reason, saying that makes me want to stick my finger in my ear. I don't know why. It's cerebral, man. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you about Grindcore, and if you don't know what Grindcore is, <coughs> then fuck off. Um, grindcore is, like thrash metal, one of the greatest things that mankind has ever produced, and um, it's been a massive thing for me, uh, because uh, I mean, I, I kind of grew up listening to Maiden and Motorhead and Twisted Sister and stuff, and then discovered thrash, blah, 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 that's interesting, Dom. And then <coughs> the thing that really fucking changed my life and got me into extreme music, which has been a, a really big thing for me over the years, uh, was hearing um, Napalm Death and Extreme Noise Terror on John Peel's radio show. <coughs> and uh, John Peel's a real unsung hero of the extreme metal scene, really, because, um, you know, I, obviously I used to listen to Tommy Vance and he was great too. But John Peel really pushed extreme music when it was a totally underground thing. And uh, and all those bands that appeared from that British scene then, Extreme Noise Terror and Napalm Death, Bolt Thrower, Heresy, Rip Cord, all that stuff. <coughs> Even, you know, more kind of hardcore stuff like the Stupids. John Peel pushed it all. So um, hats off to him, my hero, basically. But um, today, one of the bands that kind of carried on what Napalm Death started uh, in the early 90s, the mighty Brutal Truth. Uh, and if you've never encountered Brutal Truth, then you, you need to sort that out right now and this is a good place to start I mean you could pretty much pick any of their records because they're all fantastic but um, their debut album Extreme Conditions Demand Extreme Responses is an absolute flipping grindcore stroke death metal classic which um, everybody should own at least two copies of uh, but certainly they uh, Brutal Truth for me represent what grindcore is all about and un unfortunately like most things the, the kind of the, the nature of a genre kind of gets distorted over the years by people kind of putting their own twist on it and saying no this is what grindcore is well grindcore wasn't actually just about blast beats and screeching and horrible white noise guitar sounds it was originally it was called grindcore because of the grinding bass sound that was the whole point of it and in Godflesh were called grindcore when they first came out you know and obviously now people say they're an industrial metal band or whatever but that was what grindcore was and in many ways in the same way that punk rock is an ethos grindcore was an ethos as well and it was about breaking down boundaries and 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 having a fuck you attitude and do something really kind of you know original and um, and edgy and subversive within the heavy metal and the punk scenes and combining kind of strange strange forms of music to, to make something new and mind bending you know it wasn't about just copying the second Napalm Death album over and over again not that there's anything wrong with that obviously and I love that kind of stuff and I you know traditional grindcore stuff that really sticks to the the kind of you know discharge D beats and, and blast beats and and a bit of dash of death metal that kind of vibe is fine and a lot of that music is amazing and, and very exciting but <clears throat> really grindcore was supposed to be more creative than that and more more dangerous really and more original and imaginative and brutal truth are absolutely the band they represent that for me and uh, this new album end time i think is the best thing they've done since the early days and uh, and everything they've done has been great um i thought the last album whatever that was called brain's gone Evolution through revolution, something like that. Um, I thought that was a great record, uh, but it sounded a little bit rushed to me, which is ironic, really, considering that all this stuff's played at top speed. Ha ha! But um, the new one, for so there's something incredibly powerful about this new album. It's got a real rawness to it. It's got the the punk rock edge that is quite often overlooked in grindcore. Is absolutely there in spades, and um, and it's just a vicious, vicious record. And and the thing, with, like I say about brutal truth, is that they encompass everything that grindcore means. So it's not just playing at top speed it's also there's some really weird kind of angular grooves in there there's some slow dirgy doomy parts and there's a 15 minute track at the end called control room which is basically improvised noise for 15 minutes and if you listen to it loud enough you will go mad it's it, and it's fantastic you know um i mean you should expect great things from a band that includes dan lilka on bass who's obviously a legend from new uh, from nuclear assault and many other bands including the rather marvelous nunfuck ritual check them out as well um and Kevin Sharp, who's one of the best grindcore vocalists of all time. And uh, and the brilliant Rich Hoke on the drums, who's also a member of Total Fucking Destruction, who are amazing, and you should check them out as well. But really, End Time is, for me, it's just it kind of reminds me why I was so excited by hearing Napalm Death the first time round, you know, and why Napalm Death are still an amazing and exciting band. Because, again, they, they, you know, kind of encapsulate 
what grindcore was about. It's about playing fast, but it's about doing lots of other things and making the music in- interesting and you know and mental. Basically, it's not just about a formula at all. And then time really sums it up for me. The production's raw as hell. It's you know it's not something that your your average kind of as I lay dying fan is going to necessarily get into. It hasn't got a polished production. Um, the songs aren't all about the same boring subjects. It's you know there's some great song titles on here. There's one called Fuck Cancer, which you know who can't relate to that. Um, there's you know warm embrace of poverty, killing planet Earth. It's quite you know they're they're a politically aware band. You know they've always had something to say. So the lyrics are smart and funny as well, and uh, it just makes a change from endless kind of no mark fucking metalcore bands with bugger all to say, except ooh my girlfriend's left me and ooh my haircut's rubbish and ooh my bell end. You know bands with something to say. More of those please. And uh, Brutal Truth have always had that, and they've always been exciting. And this is um, not a return to form because they've always been brilliant. But um, like most things that come out on Relapse Records, it's well worth investing your money in. Uh, you know, they're just a flipping booklet is better than most people's flipping efforts, frankly. So Brutal Truth, End Time, Extreme Music for Extreme People, and you know, middle class fat fellas like myself um, in their sheds. Uh, so yeah, check it out, buy a copy and play it really, really, really loud at people that get frightened by that kind of music because, you know, too many people listen to just sad, boring music all the time. Don't listen to boring music, listen to something exciting and end time is precisely that. I look outside and it's pissing down with rain, so uh, there you go, the world is awful, everything's terrible, so we might as well listen to Grindcore um, because it'll probably cheer us up, won't it? really yes good have a fantastic weekend i'm gonna bugger off and go to los angeles now so um you know don't be jealous though i'm doing it for your benefit i'm working hard in the name of heavy metal so uh satan bless you all and uh i'll see you next week cheers